So the, the thing that's really the peak of our attention right now with Dark Souls 2 is the Covenant system. It's been gradually talked about. We're beginning to see some of what it means. And what it's really about is kind of joining together something that Dark Souls and Demon Souls before it was very good at, which is having the community really engaged with the game. Uh, and in this instance, the Covenants are going to be at the heart of that. Uh, basically what it means is that you can align yourself with various groups and you'll be given tasks such as jumping into other people's games and acting as almost like mini bosses for them, um, defending a tower for instance if you're part of a group that kind of aligns itself with that, or you might just have to jump in and just cause a bit of havoc every now and again and, and kill people. Alternatively, you might join a group that's there to defend others, so you might join a group that's there and if you get attacked by somebody, a whole bunch of other people will join your game and be on your side. Yeah, I think it's um, it sounds really cool. I mean, the Dark Souls uh, online systems were a bit underdeveloped in my opinion, but they were really cool in their ideas. You know, you see that seeping into games like Watch Dogs and, mm. and what have you, and I'm, I'm really happy that they're sticking with it, you know, building it a little bit and just sort of seeing where it goes. I mean, Dark Souls is such a, an odd game in this industry where it just sort of came out of nowhere for a lot of people and um, it's still trying some new ideas and hopefully it won't, you know, wrestle its laurels too much. Absolutely. I think what's been interesting so was the back end of the Xbox 360 generation is that where once multiplayer was kind of a black and white thing, now it's becoming much more grey. There were single player games and there were multiplayer games and now we're getting games that really do blur the lines between the two. They are almost like ambient multiplayer. There is There are other players there but you're not always aware of them. They're engaged with your game but not in a kind of direct way and then every now and again you might get a confrontation. I'm particularly excited by the idea of being able to jump into someone else's game and be their boss for a section. Um, yeah, that is Because cool. that adds a nice kind of random element, a bit of, you know, something that's really quite unique. Something where you can't just watch the attack patterns of the enemy and know what they're going to do next. Um, which, you know, is something that you could sort of do with Dark Souls if you paid enough attention. Yeah, no, I, I hope it comes to Xbox One is my only sort of thing, just because mm. I don't want to get the 360 out. I don't want to HDMI that thing in. I just, can it come to Xbox One? Maybe. I, it sounds like they're not really thinking about it too much right now. Um, having said that, if you haven't quite made the leap over to Xbox One just yet, then this is a great reason to keep hold of it and keep it under the TV and have it plugged in, ready and waiting for when Dark Souls 2 launches. It looks pretty. It does look very, very nice.